Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. I'm not gonna say it's bright sunshiny Winnipeg. Okay those of you who have been reading the comments will know I had another I was going to not a disaster, but another embarrassing situation happened yesterday in that <laughs> I got an airplane going over just when I want to talk and I got my windows open. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, I, th I, uh, I made another mistake yesterday and uh, I discovered it right after I ended yesterday's episode. You'll see in the rollback. We'll talk about it. Now, don't let me forget. One of the viewers uh, sent a, a, a photo, actually two photos, but one of them in particular shows what those little pieces of photo etch that were a little over eight feet tall in reality uh, were all about. And, and I'll try and remember to show you that photo before the end of the day here. I've got it in the computer. And it's a, a real logical explanation as to what those little pieces of photo edge were that we couldn't figure out what they were for. Anyway, I'm beating this to death again. Let's let's sort of roll back and uh, see how it is that we uh, got to where we are. And uh, oh yeah, you you can see here that our uh, bird feeder it needs to be replenished. I don't think I'll make a big deal about it though. I think I'll just go out and do it. Anyway, let's uh, roll back. Okay, here's what's happened. A bit of an embarrassing setback, you might say. You'll notice that the mushroom vent is back on, and for some reason it seems to fit. Well, uh, turns out that this, this piece right here, I put on the wrong way around. If I turn it around 180 degrees, the way it's the way it's it's uh, angled here. If well, I haven't I haven't uh, glued this in place yet. We'll do that in a minute. But uh, I had to break this off again for a second time. Um, then when I turned this around, I, I noticed that the hole for the mushroom vent was 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 exposed. So I I ha actually had an extra one, so I put it on. I couldn't find the other one. I must have thrown it out. Yeah, Murphy's law, right? Yeah. <laughs> hung on to it for a long time and then when I need it it's gone. Um, anyway, this is glued back on. Um, the uh, deck, I, I repainted it, that's why it's a little bit shiny there, it's still wet. I'm not we're going to see in there anyway, but the, the, what, what got me to, to look there is because I was noticing that we have to drop a ladder down right there that goes goes from from the deck up to the top of this thing and I'm thinking well there's there's not enough room for for a ladder because because this piece at that time was was back about uh oh five millimeters or more well it, it just covered the mushroom and um then I I noticed oh my goodness I got it the wrong way around anyway all is well that ends well now let's get ourselves a uh a syringe here and fill it up with uh a bunch of, well I guess we don't need to fill it, but we'll get some extra thin in it and see if we can uh, get some some glue underneath there. I have put a little bit of blue tack on, on the bow and it's the same on the stern here. The idea being is so that when I tip this on its side a little bit so that I can get in here with my needle uh, yeah it's not going to slide off. And <clears throat> I've got 55 minutes before today's episode, or, you know, episode 1288 posts. Uh, so 55 minutes before the comments start coming in about me putting this on the wrong way around. Uh, <laughs> and I don't blame you if you do. I really don't. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, recompose here and uh, see what we can do. Okay, I've uh, dulled the needle on this. It's still pretty pointy, but at least it's not so sharp you cut yourself just by looking at it. Now 
Now we don't need very much, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be squirting it all back when I'm through anyway. That's probably a hundred times more than we actually need. Remember, right, the, I found that the extra thin has a tendency to evaporate it when it, over a period of time, like, like over a couple of weeks, uh, in, in, the, uh, in the syringe. So, uh, okay, I'm just going to get the bubble out of that. And I'm not going to do it here over the table, but, uh, and then we'll, uh, start using this camera. Okay, you can, you can see that it's still loose here. And, uh, we'll try and apply some in from the back first. That may have been, once again, more than I needed. Let's see, did it come through to the front? No, it didn't. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side, and uh, then I think when that melts, it's going to be on there fairly strong. Now, I think the time to make our ladder and put it in place is, is now, before we get the superstructure in here, and I'm trying to work around all the uh, delicate mast stuff, and... Uh, yeah, and it's, as I pointed out before, it, it has to go right there. So, uh, all right, here we go. There's only one on the B sprue, that's got to be it. Okay. Oh my. 33.6 Celsius. It's getting worse. And this is September the 1st. Maybe we're going to have a hot winter. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. I'll tell you, I will not be putting this in the ultrasonic cleaner. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cut it, bend it, paint it, might even glue it in place, and uh, get it done. You always wanted to see the top of my head, didn't you? Well, now you've seen it. Okay, I think it's uh, on about as good as it's going to get. And uh, I've overexposed the scene there because it's kind of dark around the ladder. But... Uh, Yeah, you can see our mushroom vent is in place and uh, everything's turned around and I think it's about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> All right, let's move on here. All right, now we need a boom D17 and it drops right down, goes on there. Then we need, uh, would that be a storage locker or something? Uh, E14. But what does this end of the boom go on? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's supposed to be supported by something. But I think it, we'd probably be wise to, when we, after we get it, to not fasten it in place here because, uh, I, I got a feeling that it's it's supposed to be suspended by a piece of uh, easy line or something. Okay, here we go with our D17. And uh, clearly this flange on the end, we don't cut that off, but this piece right here is, is definitely sprue. And 
we can nip it here. Now right here, I think that this this part that I'm touching right there, a little knob, is sprue. But this part in here is uh, got something to do with the boom. So when I'm nipping this off, I want to be careful here that I don't get too close. We'll uh, check the manual and yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's definitely sprue on the end there. We'll just nip that off and then just sort of clean it up on the end. Okay, I more or less got it cleaned up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the ends here where the hardware, you might call it, is. The darker 77. And the boom part itself, I'm going to paint it the lighter 66. It's just sort of a bit of contrast. I don't think I'm going to video doing that. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay, now as long as I'm going to be painting in a minute or so, uh, I'm probably going to want to paint this the uh, darker 77. We'll do it all at the same time. Okay. Yeah, some sort of a little storage locker. You can see the door on it there. Okay, so when I was getting the part off of the D sprue, I, I noticed that there's a, a mast here and some sort of a, a boom, like a yard arm or something. And uh, so it's it's D5, and I presume this is 8. So I paged ahead in my manual, and I don't see anywhere. So then I thought, well, maybe I've, I missed it and I didn't put it on somewhere. So I paged back and I didn't see it. So when I get to the computer, I'm going to check and see, you know, is this maybe for the Nelson and not the Rodney? And then that'd be all right. Okay, I've checked the Nelson manual and I did find the 8, D8. But I didn't find the D5. Now that doesn't mean that the 5 isn't in here somewhere. I just didn't see it. But anyway, here's the 8. Okay, I've got the uh, 66 painted on, but I can't do the uh, darker 77 on the ends until this uh, gets to the place where I can grab hold of it. It's still a little bit wet in places. And uh, this this part here, I'm going to also uh, do, do it in the darker gray, the 77. So we'll do them both at the same time. But you know, I think we're going to call it an evening here. I know you can't see the clock, but it's uh, 20 to 8 here in Winnipeg right now. And uh, it's still 28.3 outside. Uh, yeah, that's unusual for this time of night in the 1st of September. But on the other hand, maybe not. Maybe this is the new, no, new normal. Uh, anyway... We'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And we've got a nice cool breeze blowing through the windows here this morning. And, uh, yeah, what do we got out there? 20 degrees Celsius, exactly. Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect for going for a walk. Now if I could just walk. So what's with the gloves? Are we going to airbrush? No. What I'm thinking of is that I didn't want to be handling this because I, I just painted it last night. Now I know it's dry, but what I find is that when I handle something with my fingers like this a lot, it ends up getting sort of dark blotches from the grease in my fingers. And I was noticing that Steve in the model shed, he wears little fingerlets a lot. And I thought I should get myself some of those. Uh, because, you know, these, these rubber gloves, they're you know, they're great, they, they do the job, but after a, well, a few minutes, they, they get uh, sweaty. Is it okay to say sweat on YouTube? <laughs> I came from a very inhibited background. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's just see now if I can't just put the 77 on, on, on these ends and this little box here. Um, 
Yeah, and then we'll get it in place, and we're we're getting closer to getting done here. Um, I was mentioning that probably they we won't do the, have the Rodney done until about Christmas time, but I'm thinking now at the rate it's going, and I was perusing through the manual yesterday, and it it could well be it's going to be <laughs> maybe before my birthday. <laughs> well, I won't tell you when that is because I don't want to be getting gifts. <laughs> anyway. Um, Let's recompose here and uh, paint these. Once again, I got my wrong glasses on. Run, run, run. try and not get it on the 66. Once I got a little hair sticking out on my uh, paintbrush there, I should really, should really clip that off.
All right. I guess it wouldn't kill me to have to do two coats with it. Now, a moment ago, I paged through the manual here, and I was just trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, see where does this actually go. I know that this is supposed to hook on there or something like this, but then it, it just looks like it, it almost just lays on the deck. Um, now, actually, that, that flange is such a tight fit that it doesn't want to lay on the deck, but we'll worry about it later. But it's, uh, I think maybe I should put it in a safe place before I wreck it. This this piece here, we have to uh, put it I should really recompose you so far back. Anyway, uh, it, it looks like we've got all the pieces made now for step 38. And uh, then the next major thing to do after we glue this in place and it's going to go right back here is uh, put down our main conning tower yeah that's going to make a big change to this okay you notice this is uh, kind of curved in the back it's supposed to fit around the uh, the mast and somehow it's supposed to I haven't tried it yet so we're supposed to go over this little positioning flange there. Yeah, I think I think we'll just put a little bit of a uh, well maybe the revel might be good. Once again, put it in the bottom and let it run out. Probably it would be a good idea if I did not do this over top of the... Oh, I got it on the front. I didn't want it on there. I'm going to end up getting it all over the deck. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. You can see it kind of oozing out there a little bit. I guess if that really bothers me, I can uh, go in there with my little brush. Now for those of you who may have been worried that I might forget about our little feathered friends, not to worry. I remembered. Well, I may have remembered the bird seed, but I forgot to put the clip back on the top of the wire. That uh, I'll be careful here. I'm going to end up bending my uh, my spider. There's so few places I can hold on to this thing. Okay, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's starting to look like something once we get the little boats in place there. Anyway, I guess I better go back out and put the clip back on the, on the top. Now, I'm gonna call it quits for today. And, and well, that's not true. I'm gonna go at it again later this afternoon and this evening all doing well. But once again, that's gonna be in tomorrow's rollback. So thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we will see you tomorrow.